everyone, I'm Colleen Ballinger and this is my little son, Flynn. He just woke up from a nap and we wanted to tell you something exciting. Flynn started walking, yay! I have been waiting for Flynn to walk for a while now. All his little baby friends started walking around nine, 10 months old and he is 14 months old, almost 15 months. He just started walking. That is totally normal, by the way, if you are out there and you have a kid who is not walking yet and they're around 14, 15 months, that's totally normal, that's totally fine. Every baby does things at different times and he just walked a little bit later. He tends to have a very cautious personality. He's a little bit shy. It wasn't surprising to me that he didn't walk right away because him walking later really matches his personality of being cautious and observant and he likes to kind of observe everything and everyone and soak it in and learn and he doesn't want to try things until he knows he'll succeed at them. That's very Flynn. I'm really excited. It was a really, really exciting day when it happened so I'm going to show you the footage in just a minute. He actually took his first steps on Valentine's Day. He's been pulling himself up and standing for a really, 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 really long time. Um, but he took his first steps on Valentine's Day and he only took a couple steps and then he gave up. He didn't want to do it again. <laughs> After that, he had no interest in walking. Literally wanted nothing to do with it. Would turn into a noodle when you would try to get him to stand, when you try to get him to walk. He just was so not interested at all. And then like a week and a half later, he just randomly one night was like, okay, I'm walking now and just walked. He took like seven or eight steps on his first try, which was crazy to me. I thought it was gonna be a gradual thing. Like I thought he would take a couple steps and the next day take three steps and the next day take four steps. But it literally was like he took two steps Valentine's Day, did nothing for a week and a half, and then was like, I'm gonna walk now. So that night he was walking a lot. And that was a few nights ago. So I'm really excited to show this footage to you because it's so special to me and it's just so adorable and he's so cute and I'm so proud of him. So here is the footage of Flynn walking for the first time. has not had too much interest in walking. He likes to walk if we're holding his hand, but he's not really interested in walking alone. But he can do it, and every day he does take a few steps by himself, but he prefers to be holding our hands while he's walking around. He just feels more stable that way, obviously. So anyway, I was really excited to show you guys this footage, but I also thought I would take this opportunity to kind of give you guys an update on Flynn and on me and just on life in general, because a lot's been going on, and there's a lot of new updates about this perfect little human. I made a list of things. <laughs> He did start walking later than all of his baby friends. However, he is talking like crazy. Even though he's pretty quiet right now, he usually is talking nonstop. These are the words that he can say. He says mama and dada. He says car, but he actually says dar dar. What's that? Yeah, dar dar. <laughs> dar dar. Yeah, that's your dar dar. He has a word for fish. He says blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's not really a word, but whenever he sees fish, he goes blah, blah, blah. He also says the same. <laughs> You want me to show you a fishy? Please, he's signing please. <laughs> okay, I'll show you a fishy. He loves fishies and he loves water. I'm 
showing him pictures of fishies. Is he turtle? Turtle. Turtle. Yeah, that's a turtle. So he says turtle. <laughs> and fishy and water. He says grandma and grandpa. Grandma. Yeah, grandma. He says Cory or Uncle Cory. He says Coco. He says Moose, uh, which is our dog's name. He also says Doggy and Kitty. He also says Daisy, which is the name of one of our cats. Airplane. This is a new one. He actually doesn't say airplane. He says Papa for airplane. He points to the sky and goes Papa. Oh, Flynn. <gasps> Nana. Says Nana for food. He says, oh wow, if he's excited about something. He says bath, he says up, he says bird, he says book, he says milk, and he says bye bye. And he also waves bye bye, which brings me to the signs that he knows. He does know bye bye and hi, which is just waving. He knows all done. This is the sign for all done, but he actually just goes like this. And he says please, which this is the sign for please, which he does that. And today he started saying more in sign language. We've been trying to get him to say more for a long time. He goes like this, it's so cute. So we're now learning thank you. We're trying to get him to learn thank you. We really want him to learn his manners. So those are the words he says. Flynn is obsessed with cars. He calls them dardars. It's his favorite dar thing in the whole world. This is a dardar. Dar dar dar. Dar dar. I am essentially a human racetrack for him. We have given him every type of toy, every type of activity since he was born to play with, and all he wants to play with is cars. Every day of his life, he wakes up saying dar dar. He wants to play with cars. He wants to ride in cars. He wants to talk about cars. He wants to read books about cars. He loves cars. Even just bought him this race car suitcase because we do travel a lot. The reason it's out right now is because he plays with it. He thinks it's a toy. I have loved watching his little personality come through and one part of his personality is that he's very passionate about the things that he loves and the thing he loves more than anything other than his mom is cars. I, I've never seen a human so obsessed with anything and I, at first I kind of just thought like, oh, is that just like babies? Do you need help? Can you say please? Okay, there you go. Say thank you. He's still working on that. Yeah, thank you. Did he say it? I don't know, probably not. Anyway, other parts of his personality that are kind of popping through that I've loved are he's kind of shy. I know that I was like that when I was really little, but Eric's definitely shy, and so I'm seeing that come through a lot with him. We've taken him to baby classes, like mommy and me type classes, and he doesn't really like them. <laughs> Most babies like going and seeing other babies and playing with other babies. He likes to watch them play and see what they're doing. He won't interact with them though. It's really interesting to see. So he's not a social baby, but he's not like afraid of new people. Like he's good in new situations and he's good meeting new people. He just, are you saying bye bye? So he has this and he's putting this on top of it and he said bye bye when it went underneath. He's a very happy boy. He is so happy, always smiling, which is so wonderful and rewarding having gone through colic with him the first few months. So he cried basically nonstop for a couple months of his life and that was really hard. And a lot of parents go through that with new babies. He just loves to laugh and smile and giggle and have fun every day and that is so much fun. He's in such a fun phase of life. He loves to share. Like earlier today, I made a popsicle for him. He'd take a lick and he wanted me to have a lick. He wanted his dad to have a look, he just wanted to share, for example. May I please have it? Thank you, thank you. You want it? There you go. He loves to share. Any toy, anything he has, he will share with you, which I think is the sweetest, sweetest ever. He's just a really sweet boy, and it's been so wonderful to get to know his personality, see what type of person he's gonna become. You want some water, please? Okay. He went to water. Yeah, he is just the best little guy. He has the sweetest personality. He's got a lot of things from my personality, a lot of things from Eric's personality, and then a lot of things that I can just tell are just Flynn, and he's his own little person, and he's the coolest guy. You're just the best. Yeah, you're just the best. We are still um, breastfeeding him, but not very often. He breastfeeds at night, or if he gets scared, or if he needs comfort, he's moving the light. Oh my gosh, Flynn, don't pull that, please. Oh no, you silly goose. Here, do you wanna read your book? There's one page that has cars on it. That is his favorite. Uh, dar dar. Dar dar. <laughs> yeah, dar dar. Yeah, he is still breastfeeding. <laughs> a lot of people usually stop breastfeeding around a year. I am all about breast milk and breastfeeding. I think it's awesome. I think any way you feed your child is awesome. So if you formula feed, if you breastfeed, I think all of that is amazing. As long as your baby's being fed and you're being the best mom that you can be, you're doing it right. I was lucky enough that um, breastfeeding for me was not a challenge and he really loves it and it's a great way to calm him down if he's upset. I really enjoyed it. He is winding down my supply 
supply is really low. I have a feeling in the next month it'll be completely done. We do not have a nanny. We do not have a babysitter. We do not put him in daycare. I think all of those options are wonderful and extremely necessary for most mothers. I am so lucky, the luckiest mom in the world because I do have, yeah. I do have a full-time job. I do YouTube full-time and I also have my live tours that I do. I'm constantly writing with my brother. Currently working on a handful of um, some really exciting projects. So I am definitely working 24 seven, but I'm lucky enough that I get to work from home and that he can travel with me. So I'm a full-time working mom, but also a full-time stay-at-home mom. So I try to work when he's sleeping, during his naps or at night, or if it's stuff that um, I can do easily with him playing with me like this. So like I can sit on the floor with my laptop and he can kind of play around me. Eric is also a uh, full-time working as an actor. He's always going to auditions, working on projects. <laughs> Yeah, but that means that he also is stay-at-home dad. So we are stay-at-home parents, but we also dad, are working full-time. So we kind of <laughs> take turns. Yeah, we take turns hanging out with him during the day and watching with him and playing with him and working. So um, it's been really amazing and we're super lucky. Yeah, dar dars, you see your dar dars? Our life now consists of waking up, um, getting some work done, but then going, okay, what can we do for Flint today to learn, to grow? We're constantly looking for children's museums, playgrounds, indoor playgrounds, kid classes, parks. So basically every single day is just, what can we do for Flynn to have fun with him and um, help his brain to learn and grow and just for him to become the most amazing human that he can possibly be. Uh, life is just wonderful with him and I feel so, 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 so lucky that I get to be a stay-at-home mom because it's always been my dream to be a stay-at-home mom, but I also get to work full-time because my other dream has always been to work and do what I love and what I'm passionate about and I get to do both things and I feel so lucky and I'm so grateful to you guys for letting that be my life because I obviously could not have this life without you. So thank you so much for providing me with this wonderful life so that I can be the best mom possible for my son. What are you doing? You got your daughter? I'm working on a lot of fun things right now. I'm writing a lot with my brother. We wrote a movie last year. We're hoping someone wants to make that. We're working on a TV show idea, but we're in Hollywood where nothing ever happens. It's like winning the lottery to get something like that made. So I highly doubt those things will get made, but we're trying. We're just constantly writing new fun, weird projects, and I really hope something gets made someday. But if not, it's fun to write, so that's cool. I'm working on a big project that will come out later this year I'm really, really excited about. I am on tour, so if you want to come see me on tour, please come. It is so much fun. I just announced uh, dates in Canada, so make sure to get your tickets to that. And with the Miranda channel, um, I'm really excited. I'm kind of revamping and doing something completely new very soon. I'm investing a lot of time and money into this little project that I have in my head. Um, it's a fun new version of Miranda, and that will be coming out very soon, and I really hope you guys like it, because I'm very excited about it. So if um, the Miranda channel goes a little bit dark for a while, that's because I'm working on something else that's coming very soon. But for now, I'm going to play with Flynn and we're gonna go make some dinner together as a family. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, but I just wanted to share the exciting news that Flynn is walking. Big walker! Okay. Okay. I love you guys, thanks for watching this video. Just a little fun update video of Flynn and his walking and our life. And um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, goodbye.